The format that was easiest to decipher during the pilot testing was used during the main part of the experiment. And this one is correct. It was used. That sounds like it might be passive, but in this case, it's not. It's okay. During the pilot testing was used. The correct, oh, no, wait. The training technique, there we go. The training technique, which was easiest to administer, turned out to be the one that was most effective. Here we have this word, which. It's a little bit tricky. The training technique that was easiest to administer turned out to be the one that was most effective. What's the difference between this which and that? Well, a easy way to remember this is if you use which, you need to have a comma because it is a connecting word. You're connecting a phrase before and a phrase after. But that is specifically saying a thing, and this thing is right up here, training technique. We can see it right there, and you cannot use a comma. So if you use which, you need to have a comma. If there's no comma, you need to use that. But even more specifically, like I'm saying, that is making it very clear that this thing here was easiest. When you use the which, it's much less clear. What do you mean? Is it this or is it part of some other group? Error trials that were equally frequent in the two conditions were eliminated from the analysis. Error trials which, that, which, were equally frequent in the two conditions were eliminated from the analysis. So here we have a comma. If you have a comma, then you're going to have to have the word which and not that. While the group that was returned to the original context made more correct identifications, they also made more false alarms. Although the group that was returned to the original context made more correct identifications, they also made more false alarms. So we have this while the test group did something and although the test group did something. So here this while is very unclear because while is about time, right? While the group was returned to the original. Oh, I see. He didn't really mean while in time. He meant while as in it looks like A but actually it's B. A better word for that is although because while often means time, and that confuses the reader. So you try to avoid words like this that cause confusion. Behavioral treatments were judged easier to administer by the therapist, while client-centered methods were judged more enjoyable by the clients. And here we have this word while again. And here, if I read this sentence without thinking about it carefully, I would think that all of this thing here happened while all of this thing here happened. In other words, at the same time. But that's not what we mean. What we mean is the things that happened first were different than the things that happened here in this other group. So, whereas. Now, they may have happened at the same time. They may have happened at different times. That's not what we're talking about. We're trying to contrast. These two results are different. Since there were no significant main effects, our interactions involving experimenter, the data from the different experimenters were pooled. This word, sense. Because. There were no significant main effects or interactions involving experimenter. The data from the different experimenters were pooled. So here we have sense and because. What's wrong with sense? Because sense is kind of similar to because, isn't it? Since I like you, we can talk. Since I don't like you, we can't talk. But sense also means from time A until time B, right? Since yesterday, I have not been feeling well. 
So if you use sense, it sounds like something happened and then at the, another time something else happened, but that's not what we mean. So the word because is much clearer in this context. Since the last edition of this text, there has been a major revision in the research paradigms used to explore these phenomena. This one really does mean time because it's since that time things have changed. So that really is sense in time sense. <laughs> the group leader directed that all comments should be positive and whoops. The group leader directed that all comments should be positive and negative ideas should be rephrased as productive suggestions. The group leader directed that all comments should be positive and that negative ideas should be rephrased as positive suggestions. So here the difference is this that and that, whereas in the wrong sentence we have no that and negative ideas should be rephrased as productive sentences, uh, suggestions. Positive and that. This idea here, the group leaders directed that all comments should be positive and that, meaning that they also directed. So first they directed this thing up top, then they directed this thing at the bottom. So it was this, then that. But here, without the that, it sounds like they go together at the same time. It doesn't really have the same idea. So the that helps separate it and say they did this and they did that. The judges could not distinguish between the children's drawings of human beings and other species. The judges could not distinguish between the children's drawings of human beings and the children's drawings of other species. This one is a little bit subtle. Let's look up at the wrong sentence. So the children's drawings of human beings. So these children drew some pictures, right? The judges were looking at those children's pictures and the judges could not distinguish between the children's drawings of human beings and other species. So that makes it sound like the children, the, the judges were looking at the drawings from the children and the judges saw drawings made by other species. Maybe some monkeys made some drawings and the judges could not tell the difference. The monkeys drawings look very good and the children's drawings look very good. But that's not what this sentence mean, means. This sentence means that the judges they looked at the drawings that the children made and the children made two kinds of drawings. One drawing was about humans and one drawing was about other species, like maybe they drew monkeys. So it was not the monkeys that drew the picture, it were the human children that drew the pictures of monkeys, for example. So in this case, we need to be very careful and separate the ideas clearly. This is the subject, we make it very clear. So. The judges looked at the children's drawings of humans and the judges looked at the children's drawings of other species. Nice and clear. The experimenter either administered the drug or a placebo to each patient. The experimenter administered either the drug or a placebo to each patient. Again, this is a little bit unclear, so let's look at it closely. It's a very easy mistake to make. The experimenter either, that means he did either A or B, administered the drug or a placebo to each patient. So this makes it sound like the experimenter gave the drug or the placebo to each participant. But in reality, what we want to say is the experimenter administered either a drug or a placebo, meaning that each patient got only one, a drug or a placebo. But in this case, it sounds like the experimenter gave everyone a drug or gave everyone a placebo. So it's a little bit hard to understand, but if you take some time to read it, I think you can see they have different meaning. So the correct one is down here. Each participant got 
a placebo or a drug, depending on the randomization. It is not only difficult for the computer to solve this problem, but also for human beings to solve it. In this sentence here, it's making it sound like the computer is actually on its own doing something. But the correct sentence would read something like this. It is difficult not only, oops, not only for the computer to solve this problem, but also for human beings to solve it. So this is a problem that is difficult. We try to use computers and we can use humans. But that's different than saying it is not only difficult for the computer to solve this problem, as if the computer can do other things, can do this and other things, it can't. It is a machine. Let's look at another example here. The Confederates were told that they should make the first choice, that they should use a neutral evaluation and avoid making eye contact with the participants. Confederates are people you use in your studies to help you with your research, but the other participants don't know that you have these people helping you. The Confederates were told that they should make the first choice, that they should use a neutral evaluation, and that they should avoid making contact with the participant. Okay, so again, it's a little bit complicated. I think you need to take time to look at it, but what is different? The difference here is clarifying that uh, pronoun. Oops. The Confederates were told that they should make the first choice, that they should use a neutral evaluation and to avoid making eye contact with the participant. The correct sentence, the Confederates were told that they should make the first choice, that they should use a neutral evaluation, and that they should avoid making eye contact with the participants. So here in the error, we're missing the they, which makes it unclear who is doing this.